Right lads and lasses, welcome back to the channel. Today I have got, believe it or not, another Honda Monkey luggage rack video for you. Now you'll see that in the past um, I've done a couple of videos on how I want to set this bike up for adventures. And you'll see that um, I've used some kind of cheap Chinese racks in the past and we've analysed them and stuff. And what I did was I added some super strength to my previous chrome one by uh, using some M10 threaded rod and some pipe clamps. And that was really strong, don't get me wrong. But on our last small bike, big adventure, um, we you'll see on the picture now that I've put up, we loaded this bike up and we had our top box on the back and then we put a big lug a 40 litre bag on the top of that and it got us to the site all right and then the next day we went out with the lads and lasses went flying around the hills and my luggage rack just sheer fractured just absolutely check out that picture there just sheer fractured no bends nothing whatsoever so the strength did add up but in hindsight uh, the rack just wasn't going to be up for it so i want to just show you something at the moment i have bought myself the brand new um, honda OEM, oem luggage rack so this is the exact one from honda I'm going to analyze it and see what it's like compared to this cheap one that I bought when I bought my top box. So I'll show you up close and personal now. This is the cheap one. We'll analyze it. As you can hear it, it's very, very flimsy. It's, um, I tried to put it on my bike a while back and I was proper bending it and it's, it just doesn't seem to have the strength in it that I'd like. Like I could easily, I think, just bend that up. Um, it, is, it is good for what you need it for. Don't get me wrong, it will do the job, but it doesn't do the job for what I need. So I have been to Paget's in Batley and I have bought this one here. Check this out. So I'm fortunate that I'm not too far away from Paget's in Batley in West Yorkshire. And if you know Paget's, they've got an awesome um, TT team that just seem to be su superb when it comes to bikes. They know absolutely everything about it. And Jack in the office has hooked me up for this. Now you'd think with it being a, an OEM Honda part, it'd be dead expensive. And I've looked online and you can get them expensive. However, this one came in at £109. So we get a box here. Let's start off with this box, shall we? Um, these little things here. And we have got, if we can get that open. We've got two bolts. Um, and that's it, I think there might be some washers in here as well. No, we've got kind of like a, a little sticker pack. Um, label, caution, carrier. So not sure what that is, but we've also got these, these look like M5 bolts maybe, so you know we'll be sticking that, we're using them to put on the bike. Also in the box we have got this here, this is the main event I suppose, this is the Honda Monkey OEM luggage rack. Now they've done some work on these, now check this out, I am dead impressed. Look at that, oh it's upside down, so look at that. Right. So just to do a comparison side by side, I just wanted to show you, I'll set back a little bit, the difference in these racks. So before we get to the Honda Monkey, let me just show you the faults with these Chinese ones. So the Chinese ones that you get, they've got a weak spot right here. Um, so when you put all your luggage on it and everything like that, this is what bends. This is right here is what breaks, it kind of just bends down like the lever effect has it. There's nothing pushing it onto your shocks. What I like about this Honda Monkey uh, OEM one is look how they've redesigned it. So when you put your weight on that, this entire bar just pushes straight down onto your shocks. So all that weight isn't just resting on the rack, giving you a lever effect. It's actually pushing it down into the shocks. Um, but yeah, check out these welds here. Look at them. Don't look at me. Look at this. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm dead impressed with, with that. Look at that. They, they raise out a tiny bit. But then we've got these plates that they've put on underneath it here. And they've also put the plates on the top. So... Look at the welds just on there as well. And this is solid, this is heavy. Um, if, you, if you're buying anything that's good, just make sure it's heavy. That's, you know, decent metal is heavy, unless it's lead and it can be quite flimsy, but we're not gonna do that. But you've got your holes here, these are threaded. So I don't think we're gonna need any um, Allen, well, sorry, any washers or anything like that. We'll just put this on, screw it on, and it'll be absolutely fine. So without uh, further ado, let's uh, get this seat off and put this rack on. So if you don't know how to take the seat off your Honda Monkey, I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration. You can skip this bit if you watched all my previous videos. But basically, you've got, I've got some caps on the end of mine, but underneath here, you've either got some um, Phillips head screws or you've got some, like I have, some M5 um, bolts, which take a five millimeter Allen key to get out of there. So it's basically a case of take the cap off. These are really hard because I've got no nails whatsoever. But yeah, if you're interested to get some decent caps, these are the Yoshimuris. They don't come out, they're about 35 quid, they're not cheap. Um, but yeah, they're solid then, really good. And then I've literally just got, I'll take you a closer look, in there is your bolt. So we're going to remove both of them on either side and uh, we'll show you the next part of it. So once you've got these two bolts out here now, that's all that holds the seat on. All you've got to do is just give it a bit of a hammer, like that. 
and then it lifts off and that's your seat right there um, so as you can see yeah, it's basically just these two threads right there hammer it and it lifts straight off happy days and then you're left with this is this where your battery is kept and everything like that we're not going to touch anything like that today we're just going to simply take these two um, nuts and bolts out right there this is a bit different on the g-craft um, so i don't think the screws are going to work with a new one but it's basically take it take them two out we're going to loosen the shocks up and then we're going to slide this out and we're going to put the new one on So fitting anything to the luggage rack point on here is quite universal, like this G-Craft that I've put on, as you can see, it's just got two holes on it and it just slides in and then you do the nuts and bolts. And it's the same with this, I'm just gonna slide it in, hopefully it'll just fit over the lights nice and easy. And we're just gonna put the bolts on. So let's check that out now. I think it's worth mentioning before we put this rack on that you need to find out which side of the shocks this sits on. Um, a lot of the cheaper luggage racks that I've had have sat on the inside of the shocks at the back and uh, that G-Craft sat on the inside too. This is a bit wider at the base and it seems to slot just in front of the shocks like that. So check them out at the first, give them a hammer in, loosen them up a bit and you're all good to go. But um, this is the hard bit now, trying to get this underneath. Um, the rest of them I've struggled with, so let's just see how easy it is. So that's in there. That was, the, that was the simplest one I've done so far. No word of a light, that, that's in. Now it's both of them on them shocks, so we can tighten them up. We'll get um, get this on it at the moment, a wrench. Let's tighten them up. I don't bother with this whole um, torque situation, these ones like that. I just know when it feels right to me. Um, so I'm not gonna do a full tightness yet. Just gonna give it a bit of a tighten up. So I want to be able to manipulate if need be and we'll get these screws in but yeah you basically get two screws um, and the little nub at the end so we just need to use a spanner on that so I'll just put them on now so what I found with this is just don't tighten these up too much yet you can give them a bit of a tighten but it doesn't matter because you need a little bit of play because these um, holes for these bolts are just a bit um, off kilter so to speak so I found it doesn't like a spanner you can't really get a spanner in there so you do need a socket set um, luckily I have a socket set, so I'm, I'm quite fortunate on that one. But so far, this has been a lot easier to install than the rest of them. The other ones, the dimensions don't seem to fit right. I've had to squeeze them under the lamps. I felt like I'm going to snap my lamps off sometimes, I mean, indicators. Um, but just looking at it from this angle, it just looks like a quality rack. Uh, as you can see, all the force, when I put it on here, it goes down into the shocks so that there's no weak part. They bypass that entire weak part there, so there isn't one. The weak part on this now is is here really and they've put a, a big um, steel plate under there that attaches to this so i have got so much confidence in this rack if this one fails me now i am gonna get one fabricated um i, I know someone who will fabricate me one but uh yeah it's I, i'm dead happy with it so far for 209 sorry 109 pounds on pagets in back there i don't know if they make any money on the parts from to be honest but if you find a honda dealer just go to them They'll audio it in, it's not a problem whatsoever. Um, Padgett's is, is my favorite, but if you're not in the north of England, then you know, you're not gonna get there. You're not really gonna go much further than you have to. So we're just tightening these up now. Like I said, I don't have um, one of these ones with the torque settings on it. So I don't know how much I'm tightening them to. I just kind of know how much to tighten them to half at time. But yeah, that's, that's it, solid. Put some weight on that. And that feels much more comfortable than any rack I've had so far. Um, so the plan is I'm gonna put the seat back on it now and uh, we're gonna see how it looks and we'll analyze it um, once that's back on. And there we have it, sports fans. So I've just put the seat back on now. I've literally just got to push the caps back in. So we'll get our banana nice and level and just give that a, a bit of a push. It's a bit of a stiffen. So, and that one's in. We'll do the other one around the other side, but yeah, there's the um, the luggage rack. Well, that's the size of my hand right there, over the top of it. So they're not gigantic of these luggage racks, but you can't really buy them massive. So we're just going to put this other plug in now. Let's get the the monkey head up right. This one goes in a bit easier, I think. Could be lying. There we go. Bit of strength. My thumb hurts now. <laughs> but yeah, this is the uh, the Honda luggage rack. But I'm dead impressed with it. But as you can see, like the weak points, there isn't one. So this entire section here, all the way it just pushes down this bar onto there. The weak point will would be about here, I think. 
Um, but, you've got, but they've got this massive metal plate underneath now, so if I lift this camera up to see, you can see that that plate there is welded on nice and tightly. So, oh, I'm dead excited. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put on it now though, so let's just have a quick look at what will possibly fit on this bike. Now, how you stack your bike for an adventure is ultimately up to you, and it's how much you want to bring. I've got really good at not bringing much recently, but if I have got the room to take it, I don't see the problem with just taking it. You know, you don't have to live um, so mediocre when you're camping. You can bring your jet boil, you can bring a bit of milkweed or whatever you want. So what I've done previously for um, certain expeditions out is I've started off with these saddlebags. Now, you might see my other video on my Ducati Scrambler. These are called Wild Heart, the 20 litre each. I got them off Amazon, no, about 80 quid at the time. So I have got these saddlebags. And what I do is I generally just fit them so they sit over the indicators. And what you see is when, you, when you're riding, you can sit on them and your feet just go here, there's, there's no problem. You're gonna to struggle to do this if you've got the ex existing exhaust on there. Mine's aftermarket and I got a low one just to make sure that I could put something like this on there. Um, next is the tent so this is my Berger Chevy Hot 2 I've got the H2C rack at the front like that so that just sits on there basically um, I'm not tying it all on it's probably gonna fall off but then I've got a bit of a conundrum I don't know what to do for the back I have got the simple option of sticking a 40 litre on the back like that so when I'm riding you know, I've got a bit of a backstop and everything but trouble is the luggage rack is so small it doesn't fit all the way across it so you know you've kind of got to bring it forward a little bit but that's dead comfy to ride with so it's not a problem for me um, I'm 5'7 so it's absolutely fine the other option I've got is I can take this off and I can fit my uh, top box to the uh, luggage rack what that means is these will have to move forward a bit so there's a, there's a base plate for this luggage rack and the rug and this top box sorry base plate for the top box and this is how the top box would sit on there um and if i just straighten these out a second put that on this will probably fall off i'm just going to hold it on you can see when i sit on it still i'm sat on the bit between the saddlebags and my feet are nowhere near the bags when you're riding so you can fit these saddlebags on there no problem whatsoever now i've got the top box what I was doing with, uh, as you saw from the picture, when I went to the other small bike, Big Adventure Weekend, I put the big 40 litre bag on top of here, like so, I'll show you. Because I thought, well, it's not gonna be a problem, is it? I just reinforced the rack. So I did do it like this. But then we, we didn't count for the sheer fracture that was in there. So, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna take, take the, the top box, that's handy just to put stuff in when I'm riding, or take this bag. Um, but that's definitely the set. I'll be taking the saddle bags definitely then, but it's either one or the other. I could probably do both. Um, I'm not going to risk it because I'm going quite far. I mean, I'm going to have to ride two hours away. And once this falls off, there's no way of getting it back on. So, right, well, anyway, I'm going to leave this video here now and uh, I'll probably put a picture up of how I did end up with a luggage rack. And uh, But yeah, check out the Small Bike Big Adventure Matlock Bath Weekender. Um, video that will be coming up either after this video or before this video it'll come up at the end right now but yeah thank you very much for watching um, i really appreciate it have a great weekend and uh yeah like subscribe and comment if you like this video cheers bye